This is a certified hood classic. Seems like all of the scientists were murdered so that nobody could complete Kenny's work. All of them except one. In almost all this research, one name keeps popping up. Victor Chouse. It appears that Chouse was Kenny's right-hand man. But he was insane. He's been locked up for years inside a mental institution. Oh, come on, now we're going to start talking to certifiably crazy people? Crazy or not. She going to end up leaving him. Wendy going to end I can already see this right now. Wendy is going to end up leaving his ass. We find this Victor Chouse. Mark we my find words. where Kenny hid the information. Ugh, what the fuck? The Adams family getting ready to pop out and stick you. Yes. Victor Chouse. Yes, that is correct. Boy, get your dastardly licking ass, boy. What the fuck? This nigga just keep a skull on his desk. What the fuck? Dr. Venom, ugly ass nigga, bro. Who the fuck do you look like, boy? Ugh, boy. This nigga, this nigga made the world's deadliest jello shot looking bitch. Boy, god damn, boy. Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, bitch. Victor Chouse ugly is as hell. Our... You put him on the line, please. I'm afraid that's impossible. This nigga look dead, bro. Victor is too unstable for phone calls. Y'all, look, look. Oh, my God. I can't even. I, I can't even show. Oh, I can't show y'all. Hold on. Look. Look at this shit. Look. Look down there, bro. The uh, skull. It's a motherfucking USB ports on this shit, bro. Look, right here. Fucking USB ports on this shit, bro. Like, are you serious? <laughs> I swear the future is a, just 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 a full of jackasses, bro. That's that's all it is. Just the future, a future full of jackasses, man. They confuse him. Well, can we come talk to him in person then? Yes, I believe that could be arranged, as no. long as the proper protocols are met. No, nigga, you're is Dracula. Is everyone in your party vaccinated? No. Oh my god. Well, then I'm afraid we can't allow you into our facility. But but we have to talk to him. It's urgent. Nigga, just well, say, they say yes. They're not gonna let us see him. It's some kind of goddamn conspiracy. It's the future. We can't let old people die. I told you, stupid. Shut up, Dad. Look, there's a chance we can help fight this new variant. I just need him out for a couple hours so we can get something important. Well, why don't you just go get it? Because he won't tell me where it is because he doesn't trust me. Because he killed his mom. Only one way out now. Kick him in the balls, Stan! What? Kick him in the balls! Come on, hurry! Get your hands off of me! Dad! God damn it, Stan! Bro, if you get taken out by this old ass man and his middle aged son, bro, you deserve whatever is coming to you. That nigga slowly, and I mean slowly, because he almost didn't make it. This nigga was walking like Joe Biden, boy. This nigga Joe Biden trips. That nigga trips going up, trips going down. That nigga trips just standing there, bro. That nigga be stumbling, standing. How the hell you just stumble standing, bro? That nigga, that nigga, Joe Biden could lay down. Joe Biden could lay down like plank and still stumble, bro. Like, that's, you deserve that, Take bro. Take his fucking balls so we can go. Fuck. Ah! Okay, grab his keys. Grab his keys, you stupid ass! Bro, that place look, uh, I don't know, bro. What the fuck? There's notes, years and years of research that Kenny compiled, all on the possibilities of time travel. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. What'd Who's you say? Who's yeah. a little husband? Who's my little machine? Excuse me! Jeez, sorry, cow. Ah, oh, Carmen doing that shit on purpose. His wife can't see it. His wife can't see it, but hey, look. What's the problem, Kyle? You know what you're doing, fat ass. God damn it, why don't you lay off my fucking dad, Uncle Kyle? Moisha, he's never talked like that before. That is not okay, Moisha. But it's true, Dad. Uncle Kyle makes me crazy, too. Oh, Menora. Fuck you, Kyle. <gasps> Hakim. Oh, no, I think he's getting his whole fucking family to hate Kyle, bruh. I really do. I really do, bruh. Because at first they were all, I love Uncle Kyle. This baby took out of this baby's first words was fuck Kyle, bro. You guys, listen. In Kenny's work, he talks about where he would hide important information. He says his friends will always know where to look if they just think like kids again. I know where Kenny hid what we're looking for. It's up his ass. Who's the bra? Bro, I'm tired of this fucking car, bro. I'm sorry, bro. If Tesla's evolve into that bullshit, 
I, I, I don't kind of want a Tesla anymore, bro. I mean, I don't like how they look no more, bro. This was well, I like a few of them, but not all of them. Place. Can we just get this over with? I don't want to be here. You think I want to be here? This is where I lost everything that I cared about. And your mom and your sister. Damn. I can feel that. I think I can trust you now, Stan. It's time for you to learn what your friend Kenny was after. An incompetent jackhole was elected president. And then the pandemic came. And then the race wars. <laughs> and then, just when it seemed like we'd turned a corner, Space Jam 2 came out. <laughs> and we all just kind of gave up. What we lost, Stan, was our integrity. But it was all by design. They needed us to lose it. Who did? Who oh, would want shit. us to lose our optimism and start fighting with the... My bad, Hey, my bad. My bad. I was sorry. I did not expect this nigga to say that shit. And then he told us, and when it, and when it all was worse, Space Jam 2 came out. <laughs> LeBron don't have it. Hey, why is that shit so funny? Because I'm so thinking to myself, like, I didn't even <laughs> watch that bullshit. Oh, my fucking stomach is hurt, nigga. I didn't even watch that bullshit. Hold on, bro. I'm sorry, y'all. Needed us to lose it. Who did? Who oh. would want us to lose our optimism and start fighting oh. with each other? China. China? Yep. China. That sound about They're right. They're the superpower now. The future is totally theirs, and we let it happen. A man in China had sex with a pangolin, and that started COVID. You, nigga. That man was me. So I knew how to go back and look, 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 y'all see what he did. Y'all see what he did. Look at it again. Look, 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 look at this. A man in China had sex with a pangolin and that started COVID. You see how he just paused right there. That man was me. So I knew how to. That, why the fuck you just start speeding up talking, nigga? No, nah, hell no, nah, bro. Let that shit marinate for a little bit, bro. He talking about some. Uh, yeah, that man was me. And I just want to let you know, President. Donald J. Trump was not the nigga to mess with. I'm like, bro, no, fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. Let me go back to that. You did what? To go back <laughs> nigga, and fuck stop the from taking over. Wait, whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. I told you, look. You started COVID? <laughs> yes, but that's besides the point. China used me like they used us all. So I came up with a way to help everyone fight back. A special integrity weed. You had sex with a pangolin in China and started the whole pandemic. Will you listen to what I'm saying? Go! I Go. want to create more integrity, but China did everything they could to stop me. They even got to my son, who burned all of Tegrity Farms to the ground. Okay, oh, he's old. He's, he's still old. He's old. Oh. Nothing. Where the fuck is it? What? The Tegrity Weed special event! Where the fuck is it? I don't know, Dad. They got it! They took it! There's even fresh footprints on the ground! Oh, Jesus! So maybe it wasn't the Chinese. Yeah, no, it was definitely the Chinese! Oh, God. That was it! That was the very last bit of Tegrity! The only other thing I had was some seeds that I hid up my ass, but they took them from me at the old folks' home! Wait a minute. What did you say? I said they took them from me at the old folks' home. No, before that. Oh, I said I hit them up my ass. <laughs> Jesus, it's so simple. Uncle Kyle. Uncle Kyle. Say it, Hakim. Uncle <laughs> Kyle. Fuck you, Cap. Oh, no, 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 no. Uncle Kyle. Fuck you, Cap. Oh, oh my gosh, God. no. He's doing that on purpose, bro. I swear. He is doing that on purpose. Carmen is a mastermind of being an asshole, bro. I'm telling you. Uncle Cap. Look at his little feet. Fuck you, Uncle Cap. <laughs> hey, that was better. There has to be a way for us to get in there. Y'all, hold on. Let me, let me ask y'all a question, bro. Let me ask y'all a question. What if this was all a big plot? By Mitch Connor. Uh, glass boy, what the fuck? What if it was Mitch Connor, bro? Eric Eric's hand, bro, that did all of this. I would be fucking blown away, bro. Thank you, Uncle Cap. 
Hi, Cam. What the hell are you guys doing here? Mitch Carter. Stan? What are you doing here? I've been trying to find out who killed Kenny. I think I know where he stored the information. It's, it's in, in his, his asshole. asshole. Yes. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. They won't let us into the morgue. Yeah, that's because you guys don't think. There's only certified medical personnel are allowed to examine cadavers. Stan Marsh, consultant for the Postmortem Beverage Tainment Online Services. One moment, doctor. What? It's highly unorthodox. Ain't no fucking doctor, boy. We don't normally <laughs> allow outsiders into the morgue. That's Nasty understandable, sperm. doctor, but Ugh. luckily I am. So they're gonna have to go up his ass just oh my god god you guys <laughs> fucking suck i'll just do it oh bro what what are we watching you did at not this point nigga are you gonna at least roll up your sleeves nigga your whole sleeves gonna smell like shit bro you gonna be doing shit and doing this and eating your food you gonna eat a piece of uh, a cake and shit sticks to cake up your mouth <laughs> ah stupid ass what the try to find some answers seems like we just keep hitting dead ends you know just tired and I want to go home. I know. I'm exhausted too. Well, bitch, do some work. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> you know what I'll do if I. Uh oh. Wanna maybe do a little bump? Uh, bump? I was just. I've got some coke and I thought we could. I don't know. Do you want to party? Bitch, what? Fuck yes, I want to party. Really? Fuck yes. Oh, I'm so glad you're down. Nobody else is even cool enough for me to ask. It's pretty good shit too. <laughs> This bitch a cold head, bro. I done seen it all. I have seen it all. When I didn't see this is some boy, this is some shit here, boy. You want a bump? A bump, bitch. I, bitch, are you breaking out? I would have been like, bitch, you breaking out? <laughs> what the fuck? You need some acne, acne cleanser? What the fuck do you mean a bump? A bump? What the fuck, bitch? <laughs> She's doing cocaine. Oh man, is... thank God. Thank God I brought this. Here you go. Fuck yes, let's fucking party. Wait a minute. What is this really? What do you mean? This isn't cocaine, it's the COVID vaccine, isn't it? I'm not putting that shit in my body. Forget it, guys, it didn't work. <laughs> nigga. They tried to trick this nigga. <laughs> They tried to trick this man with the COVID vaccine. <laughs> and they knew this nigga liked to snort cocaine, but she sniffed it though, bro. You guys were gonna trick me into taking the vaccine? God damn it, Clyde, it we gotta get out of here. My body is a temple, and I'm not taking that shit. Whoever controls the world and killed our friend is just gonna get away with it. Not so fast. Oh, duh, of course. We did it. We found Kenny's hidden information. You did? And now we can finally learn off. the truth. Whoever Kenny was after, we're gonna take those fuckers down. Even if you wiped it off, it's probably been up this nigga ass for a long time. A long. There is no way you can just get that 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 stank off of that motherfucker, bro. Your fingers stank. Shitty stank. They stank, nigga. In the event of Dr. McCormick's death. He wants everyone to know the group that is responsible for the way things are. It is, quote, my three dickhead friends, Stan, Kyle, and Cartman. Oh, wow. What? <laughs> oh. That nigga didn't die. He went back in time. And that's fucked up. Oh. <laughs> Wendy, I've been trying not to say anything, but your friends are all kind of douchebags. Oh, damn. It was our fault. I remember when we were kids. We were so optimistic. We lost that. We lost our sense of fun. Our sense of humor. Maybe the pandemic was a big test. Wow. You know what's crazy? I'm going to say this real quick. Why listen to this one more time, bro. Been trying to figure out whose fault this all was. It was our fault. I remember when we were kids. We were so optimistic. We lost that. We lost our sense of fun. Do, do you 
Do y'all think that Matt and Trey, because look, let me just say, these two, Stan and Kyle, right? Stan and, Stan and Kyle, Matt and Trey. Let me let me see. Look, look at this. Here's, look at this. Here's Matt and Trey. Here's a picture of Matt and Trey. Literally, right there. Hold on, y'all. Yeah. Somebody searched who is Matt's wife. That's fucking weird. Look at look at look at uh look at Stan and look at look at uh Matt and Trey. Like look at them. You see? Does this not resemble them a little bit? Like, can y'all see this shit? Stan and Kyle, in my opinion, kind of resembles Matt and Trey. Low key, low key. Like, think about this. Do you think when they said that I was looking for someone to blame? When they were trying, when they did their first movie, they were trying so bad to blame uh, uh, Comedy Central and all this other stuff, right? Then they were trying to blame China and all this extra shit. Then now in the sense of it, Kenny is basically them saying like, maybe Kenny is us, the viewers. Do you get what I'm saying? Kenny is us. Because Kenny always says the shit that we say. The set, like, how we feel, Kenny always says that. Kenny always says the shit that we feel. So I want to know if Kenny is us, the viewers. I can't quite pick what Carmen is yet. Matt and Trey are Stan and Kyle, right? And they're talking about how over, over the years, South Park has been kind of run down and not as special as it once was. And I'll play that. Scene. I'll play that scene one more time, and then we'll we'll go ahead and move Our on. Our sense of humor. Kenny was right. All this time. Kenny was right, meaning the viewers were right. We've been trying to figure out whose fault this all was. It was our fault. I remember when we were kids. Trey. We were so optimistic. We lost that. We lost our sense of fun. Our sense of humor. Hmm. Maybe the pandemic was a big test and we all failed. Let's face it, guys. We killed Kenny. Damn. You see what I'm saying? And the pandemic was like supposed to be this big ass shit. And I think that it did good. Like, I think that the pandemic special did really well. But I don't think for as big as it was, I don't think it was like, Oh my God! It was more like ah yeah he he he. You get what I'm saying? Like I feel like they lost their essence of it, and now it's like they're realizing that like bro, we kind of lost our essence. Maybe we need to go back to what we you know like maybe they got caught up in the money and some shit. Like Madden, I'm talking about Madden Trey. I I don't know man. Y'all holler back if y'all feeling where I'm coming from with this, bro. I don't know. Maybe I'm reading too far into it, but I'm just saying. And what we should have done then was double down on our respect and our love for one another and fight through it instead of fighting with each other. That's crazy, Nugget. We can save Nugget. Kenny. We just have to finish his work. How? We don't know anything about quantum physics and time right. travel. I don't know how. But we start by believing in each other and in what is yet to come. We have to go back to being those kids we once were. Sounds good. I'll be right back. Moshe, how come? Kids, get your things. We need to go now. He's going to try and change the past. But I oh, like no. things the way they are. Me too, Dad. Ca Maybe Carbon doesn't do want to. No, kids. Fuck Uncle Cal. Yeah! Uh -huh. yeah Fuck Uncle Cal! Carmen doesn't want to go back, bro. Carmen doesn't want to go back, bro. That's crazy. Uh, point I said, I never know. I've seen it. Oh, <laughs> hey, thanks, People Dixie. We're supposed to get What's up, Henry? In the future. I'm so sorry. What happened to both of you? I just be thinking about it. It wasn't your fault, Randy. It was all Stan's fault. Yes, it was all Stan's fault. Stop, stop. Thanks for saying that, you guys. I'm sorry Stan sucks so hard sometimes. Don't give up, Randy. Humanity needs you. No. What the fuck? I can't do it alone. How can things possibly go back to the way they were? It's the last little sprout of integrity. Uh, 
How the fuck was that drawer? somewhere safe. We have a lot of work to do. Well, hurry the fuck up, nigga. <laughs> Fucking needs help. Oh, hell no. Nah. You ain't gonna do shit in that motherfucker. He left them out there, bro. This look like some outlast shit, don't it, y'all? Uh, yeah. We just had another call asking to speak with Victor Chaus. You're quite a popular man, Victor. Okay. Don't feel like talking, huh? <laughs> you will. Oh no, who the fuck is that? We are all you and me. We are all living in the future. Hey! Why did y'all just spoil it for me, bro? Why did y'all just say it was butters, bro? I ain't even say I didn't even know this shit. Why did y'all just say I I legit didn't even know this shit, bro?